and comment throughout the duration of this video. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms. If you're watching on Facebook today, be sure to like and follow our page and enable the notifications for our live stream so you will receive all of the updates. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our page and click on the notification bell. Thank you for watching our live stream. We're so excited to worship with you. Being in an atmosphere of faith here at Christ for the Nations really has prepared me to pray prayers that I wouldn't have prayed before, to see God move in new ways, to see him do new things, not just in my life, but to believe for the lives of others that God can meet them right where they're at. It became real to me how real God was and how intentional he was with my heart and wanting to encounter me outside of what I thought was normal parameters for him to move. Thank you for joining our live stream. Feel free to like this video and leave a comment throughout. And be sure to follow CF and I on all social media platforms. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and tap the notification bell. For those watching on Facebook, make sure to like and follow our page and enable the notifications for live videos to stay connected with us. Thank you for joining us today. We are so excited to worship with you. My entire life I wanted to be a pastor, but with time in high school I ended up being drifted away from that and I fully focused myself on being a doctor. And right before I would start med school, the Lord completely changed my heart and He pointed myself towards Him again and He showed me what He wanted for me. My heart started burning for CF and I and the Lord opened every single door for me to come. Well, here at CF and I, God healed me. Uh, I, when I got here, I had asthma and I had to do all these medicines. But right now, I haven't taken any of those medicines in over two years and my lungs are perfect. So he fully healed me from that. But more than just this physical healing, he healed my heart. He showed me how my dependency should be strictly on him, not on the ministry of my parents or my ministry back in Brazil, but on him. The only thing that I need, I need Jesus more than even the blood within my veins. Uh, as soon as I stepped into it and I made the sacrifices that needed to be made, everything opened, so I'm glad for it.
Hello everyone, thank you for joining our live stream. Feel free to like and comment throughout the duration of this video. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms. If you're watching on Facebook today, be sure to like and follow our page and be able to share this video. Remember, Lord, of our first love with you, Father. Remember, Lord, of our first love with you. Remind us, Father, of that first love, Jesus. Remind us of the reason why we're here. Remind us why we seek your face. Remind us why we are gathered in this place, Jesus. Recuérdanos, Padre. Recuérdanos, Señor, ese primer amor, Señor. Arde nuestros corazones por amor por ti, Señor. Arde, arde, Señor. Arde nuestros corazones. God, burn us, burn our heart, Father, for a love for you, Jesus. Burn our hearts, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We just say thank you. quick everybody could listen I know everybody's not in here uh, this morning as well we're in worship we're going to be focusing on our minds the mind games the enemy tries to play with us we're going to be praying into that so we're going to be uh I'm going to be reading something later I'm going to be asking for about five to ten of each of you guys so if you guys can think who who which whoever it is if it's you that have fought through in your mind with the enemy and you've won battles I want you to come up and pray. If it's you're by faith, you're fighting now and you're going to believe and pray into it, come up and do that. So closer to the end, we're going to ask that. So keep that in mind and get ready to come up and pray into the spirit as we all battle these things. The enemy doesn't stop attacking us. He's going to continue to come at you. So this morning we're going to all as a, as a family pray into that and fight back at the enemy, what he's trying to take from us in our minds. So that's what it is this morning that we're going to focus on. So keep that in mind. Good morning, Saints and I. Will we just stay in that same spirit of prayer? Lord, we enter into your presence with thanksgiving. We enter your courts with praise this morning. Father God, I just ask that you would just come and visit us this place like never before. Come on, would you just stand and just worship Jesus this morning? Lord, we're not here for anything else. But to bless your name, we're not here for anything else but to just gather and praise you. Would you just lift your praise? Lift your praise to Jesus this morning. Lord, we're grateful that you're going to come in this place, Father. Your word says that you inhabit the praises of your people, Lord. So, Father God, I just ask, Father God, that your spirit would move like a fresh wind in this place, Lord. Mark us today, God. Would you mark us today, Lord? We don't want to leave same today Lord would you mark us this morning come on would you just express your praise for Jesus Jesus we're here to worship you this morning Jesus we're here to bless your name we're here to bless you so Lord we're here to bless you we're here to praise you God would you inhabit our praise this morning Lord we love you we praise you in Jesus name amen
for Jesus this morning in your own words he wants to hear you this morning I'm 
for Jesus this morning.
my soul and it will not be a deposit for the garbage of Satan but a reservoir for the Word of God I will renew it with the word in Jesus name I cast out of my mind every thought every image every rationale every principle and every thought structure that is not aligned with the Word of God I take captive every thought and bring it into obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ I put on my head the helmet of salvation and the belt of truth around my waist I will renew my mind and use it to think reason reflect and study the Word of God until my mind reflects the mind of Jesus residing in me and the person of the Holy Spirit father I fasten my mind on you and you will keep in perfect peace the one whose mind is fixed on you because he trusts in you in Jesus name I reject all the constricting chains built in my mind father come now by the power of your spirit to break every prison in my mind every deception every stronghold built from my childhood in the past I cast out all passivity of mine and all evil influence. In the authority of Jesus Christ, I evict every thought that is contrary to you. I resist the invisible forces of darkness that try to disturb or upset my mind with thoughts of doubt, rebellion, unbelief, sensuality, lies, pornography, anguish, depression, fear, grief, hatred, bitterness, and the like. In Jesus' name, I tear down all the chains of my mind now in the name of Jesus and now may your light and your peace come upon my mind come now by your power and gird my mind with your spirit send more angels to reinforce their guard around me in this troubled world father strengthen my mind my will and my spirit I receive your peace now for my mind my emotions and my body grant me the victory that my mind may be renewed and I may be a clear channel through which the revelations of your spirit will flow Release me from human traditions and give me the grace to live in your presence with a free mind completely consecrated to you. I am willing for my mind to become a deposit of your word and reflect more and more the mind of Jesus Christ. I give you thanks that you will do infinitely more than I can ever dare think or ask in your wonderful name. We put on the mind of Christ Jesus. We put on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness and the belt of truth. We put on the shoes of peace. We take up the shield of faith and the sword of the Spirit. We thank you for your armor that we can continue to fight back the works of Satan because we know we have the victory. We rebuke and curse every spirit of lust, perversion, depression, despair, discouragement, unbelief, and oppression. Every spirit of selfishness, pride, restlessness, timidity, and fear. Every spirit of offense, jealousy, judgment, condemnation, every mind-binding spirit. We cast you out. We break you off. You have no right, no authority over our lives. Every spirit of of malice, anger, resentment, bitterness, confusion, manipulation, every Jezebel spirit, be gone in Jesus' name. We curse you, Satan. We have Jesus Christ on our side. The blood of Jesus flows through our veins, and we are called children of God. And so, Lord, we welcome you to come do what you want in each one of us as we continue to pray in the Spirit, staying connected to you, praying without ceasing. Thank you, Lord, that you brought us here as prayer warriors to grow in your army. Now, the Lord just covered a whole lot of stuff in this, on this paper. But there's some stubborn spirits that don't want to go. And you have power and authority over those works of darkness because you are a child of the Most High God. You are a child of the Most High God. Are you not? Are you not? Say, I am a child of the Most High God. Now lay your hand on your head. And you tell those demons to go in the name of Jesus. You tell them to go. Every unclean spirit, every demon of witchcraft, every spirit. 
spirit, every unclean spirit of pornography, every unclean spirit on coming from those phones, everything for fornication, adultery, whatever is going on in the name of Jesus, you tell those spirits, say, go in the name of Jesus. Tell them to go in the name of Jesus. You tell them, say it. I want to hear you say, go. Let me hear you say, go. Go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you right now. In the name of Jesus, you will not be the same. You will not be the same that you were this morning. You will not be the same that you were last night. Those things that you are looking at that you shouldn't have been in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not be looking at those things again because a convicting, a conviction is going to come up in your spirit and it's going to make you turn it off by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now I want you to say, say, say I'm free. Lift your hand and say I'm free. Say, devil, you have no power over me. You have no authority over me. You can't make me think wrong. You can't make me do wrong. You can't make me do wrong. Say it. You can't make me do wrong. I belong to the Holy Ghost. Spirit, soul, and body. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. back into worship if a few students like I mentioned earlier that have fought through this or fighting through it come up here and line up here we just want you to pray into it we want us to do it together and the leadership is here praying into it but we're all here learning together so we need your prayers as well come on up and line up as we'll go back into that praying in just a few minutes
Psalms 13. How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Lord, we thank you for your word. Lord, we thank you for who you are. We thank you, God, for your spirit. We thank you, Lord, because you have given us life and life in abundance. You have not given us a spirit of fear. You have not given us a spirit to be cowards, but no, you gave us a spirit that will move in the direction that you have set for us. We will not, we will not, we will not stay back and we will fight the spirit of darkness. You have no place here. You have no place in the minds. All doubts, all confusion, I cast you out right now in the mighty name Jesus, I cast you out. Be gone. Be gone. You do not belong in this school. You do not belong in the dorms. We will be free and free in the spirit of God. And we thank you, Lord. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foully snare, from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers. Under His wings, He will fi- you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plagues that destroy at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes. Father, I thank you that you have protected us, that you have shielded us from the things that we cannot see. I thank you, Father God, that you have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And I thank you, God, that today you have given us the mind of Christ. I thank you, Lord God, and we choose to abide in your spirit today. We choose to look at your face today, Lord God. And I declare, God, that every every scheme of the enemy is broken in the name of Jesus. Every curse is broken. The bloodline is clean because you have covered it, Lord God. And so, God, I just thank you today. I thank you, Lord God, that we can rest in your peace. We can rest in knowing, God, that you protect us, that you shield us from the schemes of the enemy in Jesus' name. Matthew 16, 22. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall never happen to you. But he turned to and said to Peter, Go behind me, Satan. You are a hindrance to me, for you are not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of man. God, God, we rebuke all of the mindsets of this world, Jesus. We rebuke all thoughts of this world. We rebuke all we declare, Father, that we have your mind. We have your thoughts, Jesus. We rebuke all the lies of the enemy, Father. We put our hands over our ears, Jesus, and we rebuke all lies that have come into our ears, Jesus. We rebuke all things, God, that are not from you, that are not for you, and that are not by you, Jesus. We rebuke it all, Jesus. We pray in hear your kingdom that we will hear your voice father we rebuke jesus because you have given us authority to rebuke there's authority in your voice use your voice there's authority there's authority because he has given it to us as we uh, come closer to the end of semester uh, there's some voices going around the student body saying that is should i continue to the next semester Uh, is it worth it to be here i want to remind you that in psalm 144 verse 1 say praise the lord he is my rock he prepared me for war and he trained me for battle would you all stand on your feet right now in the name of jesus and we're going to rebuke the lies of the enemy right now in the name of jesus I see pastor, I see evangelism, I see missionary in this room right now. I see some writers, I see worship leaders. God will arise and awake this generation 
We are the generation where God will rise up to bring back and restore what has been broken in the past, what the millennium has done wrong. We are the generation that God will arise and you are going to war and you will attack the enemy. Right now, let's all rebuke the lies of the enemy that was upon your head, that was upon your mind, in your sleep, in doing your dream. Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, we, we rebuke every lies of the enemy, saying that this is not worth it, that this is the training ground, it's not worth it. We rebuke in the name of Jesus right now. We speak life in the name of Jesus. Give us the strength to keep on going into the next semester until the end of semester in the name of Jesus. Awake the student in the name of Jesus. Give them peace when they are sleeping in the name of Jesus. Prepare them to be a great pastor, to be a great evangelist, to be a great missionary, to work. And what else you put in your heart, Lord Jesus, give them the courage to finish the race in the name of Jesus. Give them the courage to finish the race in the name of Jesus. Take them to the other side of the sea. God, as you part the Red Sea, you can part what they are going through in their life in right now in the name of Jesus. Enemy fall dead in the name of Jesus. Jesus, arise and student, keep your eyes on Jesus. Do not walk away from Jesus. You will fall. Keep your eyes on Jesus. He will take you to the other side of the sea in life. Amen. Now listen, do you understand what that man of God just did for you? Your purpose the plan of God for your life has been under attack the last few weeks and you were about to give up and quit and he prayed into it that you would not give up on the plan of God and the purpose of God so that destiny could be fulfilled. You ought to thank that man for coming in agreement. Come on, come on, who's next? Let's go, bro. Let's go. Thank you. Right now, thank you, Lord God, that you're the healer. Thank you that you deliver us, Lord. Thank you that you sing songs of deliverance over our lives, Lord. Thank you that you have redeemed us, God, from the curse of the law from the curse of sickness and disease, from all anguish of heart, Heavenly Father. Thank you that we are redeemed and we come into agreement with your word right now. And we lift your word up higher, Lord God, higher than our circumstances, higher than what we feel in the moment, Lord God. And right now we command all sickness and disease to leave in Jesus' name. All fear be gone right now in the name of Jesus. Let healing and health be loosed right now in the name of Jesus. And we say be healed and be made whole to those bodies that need to be restored, to minds that need to come into wholeness right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed and be restored in the name of Jesus and be at peace in Jesus' name. Let peace be released right now in the room over every mind, over every soul, over every body right now in the name of Jesus. Let peace permeate over every life right now in Jesus' name. And thank you, Lord God. We declare, Jesus, that you are Lord in Jesus' name. be still and know that I'm God. And I just want to pray into that really quick. I know that sounds simple, but in Jesus name, we just thank you, God, that that's not a simple scripture, Lord. But God, I'm tired of the enemy trying to make us believe small things that aren't what you say about us. So God, if we believe something, anything other than the image of God over our lives, I declare in Jesus name that we will see what God says about us, that we will believe what God told us, that we won't believe small things that get in the way of the identity that God has called us to. So if you've been feeling weary, I just encourage you to lift your hands and say, God, I can't do it by myself 
but I know that you've created my identity for a purpose. So in Jesus name, we just surrender together as a body. And we say, we're not gonna believe the little foxes that try to distract us anymore. But God, we declare that we're gonna walk in identity in the fullness and that we're gonna laugh at the things that the enemy try to tell us. So I thank you, Lord Jesus, that we will walk boldly, we will walk confidently and with no doubt in our minds, we will be still and know this is what God says about me. So I will walk in it and I will be confident from here on out. In Jesus' mighty name, we declare and we agree, amen. I just wanna pray specifically for intrusive thoughts. Um, Lord, thank you that we have a mind of Christ. We have a sound mind, Lord. Lord, I pray that you teach us how to hold every thought captive, God, that we don't ignore it, Lord, but we hold it captive and we submit it to you, Lord. Help us not come into the agreement of with the enemy of the lies, Lord. Help us not come into agreement with the lies of the enemy, Lord, but help us rebuke it and help us give us scriptures to rebuke the lies and rebuke the intrusive thoughts. Give us scriptures, Lord, when those thoughts come up to help them um, rebuke them and submit them to you, Lord. And I just pray for a sound mind, God, and you help, um, help us and train us, Lord, how to hold every thought captive, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. I just felt the Lord uh, lead me to 1 John chapter 3, um, verse 1. See what great love the Father has lavished on us and that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the, the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. I feel like um, a lot of us have been lacking a lot of love from maybe our parents or people in the past. And I just want to pray over that, that God will just fill our hearts with the love that maybe we didn't like receive when we were younger. So let's just pray into that real quick. Father, I thank you because you are a father to the father, fatherless, Lord. I thank you, Lord, because uh, over every situation, over every child here who has, who has divorced parents, like parents who have abused them, parents who have done horrible things to them, you are healing their wounds right now. You are coming into their lives and you are taking away the pain that the devil has tried to attacking them with you are healing every single person that's in this room that has suffered from horrible things in the past that maybe their earthly parents should have protected them from and i thank you because despite all that you are our one great protector you are our one perfect father lord and i thank you for the immense love that you have for us as your children lord i thank you for that lord jesus i thank you for all that you will be doing So, do they have it? I want, they're going to put that, that prayer that Golan read up on the screen for you. Here's what I want you to do. There's some critical pieces to that, to those proclamations and those prayers. I think they're trying to get it up. It's going to be, probably it's going to be a really small font. But I want to, what I want you to do is I want you to grab a hold to one of those lines that was a prayer that you knew was for you. Like, I need to be praying this over me. There were a couple key pieces. Do they have it yet? Alex, give me, give me the piece of paper. There were a couple key pieces that as, even as he proclaimed it in, in, a, in, in a position of prayer, I just, I just kept saying, ooh, that's for us. Ooh, that's for, that's, for, that's for us. That's for this group here at Steve and I. That's for us as leaders. And one of the things that I hope that you grasp this morning is that it's easy to be a warrior when you feel strong. It's in the moments where you feel weak and you feel like you've blown it and you don't know God are even here. That's when the true warriors of God rise up in that hour and that moment and they stand into the shadow of the Almighty and they proclaim what they know to be true out of the Word of God even though they don't feel it or they don't sense it. And so here's what we're gonna do for the next couple moments. I want you to grab somebody else around you. If we can do men with men, ladies with ladies. But I want you to look up there and if you see any of those lines that like speak to you, and I want you to pray that over each other. So let's pair up, get in groups of twos or threes, and we're gonna break the spirit of heaviness. We're gonna, we're gonna come against, uh, as, as go on so, so clearly in the spirit, the attacks on our minds. Grab one of those lines and maybe, I take captive every thought and bring it into obedience to Christ. I cap out of my mind every thought, every image, every rationale, every principle, every thought structure that does not align with the word of God. 
I want you to declare some of those pieces over yourself and over the person that you're standing with. I want you to declare that, that you have the righteousness of Christ Jesus working in you. You can do it in Spanish, whatever your native tongue is, but pray over each other. Let's take a moment. If there's a particular line that just makes sense. A mind will not be the seat, the positive garbage. I love it, it's a reservoir. every constricting chain built in my mind. Come on, man, you should pray that when I cast out all passivity. I cast out all passivity out of my mind and all evil influence. Commanded to go. I resist the evil forces, the invisible evil forces. Just the evil forces, cause of rebellion, unbelief. Tear down the chains. willing for my mind to become a deposit of your word and reflect more and more the mind of the Lord Jesus. Come on, that's a line for somebody to pray. My mind will not be a place tormented by the evil thoughts of this world. I give thanks that you will do infinitely more than I can think and ask. man is that perfect peace whose mind is stayed on the Lord 